New tonight, a Haywood County man is sharing his story after just discovering a strange object that he thinks may be from outer space. And so far, the object has not been inspected by aerospace experts, but the discovery has a lot of people scratching their heads. News 13's Mark Liverman explains. I just shocked as to what uh, what it was. Kind of hard not to be, especially when you find something like this along a very remote Canton Trail. Once in a lifetime, you know, it don't happen every day. But it did happen to Justin Klotz when he and a co-worker found it. Burnt carbon fiber dotting the surface, heavy duty pieces and plates of metal held together with what look like thick bolts. Justin was working his job doing grounds maintenance at Glamping Collective in Haywood County. He walked about half a mile down this trail when his friend pointed it out. We don't know what it is, so we just know that it's not from up here. I just want to give you an idea of how big this object is. I stand at about five foot ten, and you can see this thing comes past my waist. It's heavy duty. You can see all the reinforcements, the bolts, the carbon fiber. And then check this out. Look how thick this material is through the middle, almost an inch thick. The objects weight so heavy that Justin had to tow the thing. I just tied a rope to it and drug it out with the lawnmower. That's just a uh, one in a million chance. Yeah, that it lands especially. If it landed somewhere off the trail in the woods, you'd never found it, but it just happened to land on the trail. So what is it and how did it even get here? I, I looked up in the trees and stuff and it, I mean, it just landed perfectly in the trail and then through an opening in the woods. So none of the trees or leaves around it look like they had caught fire or anything like that? No. A piece of debris this big, you'd figure someone would have at least heard it land. There's going to be some some kind of a sound, you would assume. Uh, not up here. Once you get so far in that trail, you don't really hear nothing in the woods. Glamping Collective's owner plans on reaching out to aerospace experts to figure out what this thing is and where it came from. Until then, this just remains a mystery in the mountains. In Canton, Mark Liverman, News 13.